eye of the tiger. Welcome back, Rudy Footy fam. Uh, we are at a place called Swansea, Massachusetts. I came down here because it's one of those cities that has a lot of the big box stores and I had to pick up some stuff. And I remember that Sonic came out with some new slushies. I think that they're available nationwide on the 30th, but some places got a little a little faster than others. So, three different, where's my, where's my receipt? That's not it. <laughs> the most disorganized food channel in all of in all of YouTube land. All right, guys. So they came out with three. They're calling them. Hold on. Let's see if I can remember this. Come on. I'm a professional. Uncorked wine inspired slushies. There you go. Beep -bop -bop. What the heck was that? Did you guys hear that? Something just said low battery. I wonder if that's my, actually, you know what? That might be my, my smoke detector. All right, guys, so here's the three of them, okay? So uh, from here, they have a peach uh, Bellini, a berry sangria. I wonder if that's supposed to say, yeah, berry sangria, and then a strawberry frosé all day. And if you're a maniac like I am, you know for a fact, hey guys, you know for a fact that I am, uh, and I hope these people do not park next to me because that would be a little annoying out of, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought they were gonna get out of the car and come see me. All right, um, all right guys, so, Three, three different frosés. I also, I'm starving, so I got two footlongs down the hatch action, but we'll, we'll do that in a second, all right? Let, let's get to eating and drinking. Eye of the tiger. I don't know why I keep singing that song. So guys, what we'll do is we'll take a quick sip. That actually smells like it has a little alcohol in it. Excuse me, office. I was enjoying a slushie from the Sonics. All right, let's see which one this one is. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. What the hell is that? There's little chunks of actual fruit in these? God, there is. Guys, if you, you can literally put a little bit of uh, in these, man. I think this is the first drink besides the the one where they put the ice cream on top of the, the slushy that I've actually been really surprised and how good these taste. That strawberry froze. Wow. Guys, it, it kind of... <laughs> Listen, I've worked in radio for 10 years, which obviously led me into the nightclub scene. And then I was a, uh, I worked in nightclubs for probably another decade uh, uh, with that. Some, some of those years aligned, others not. This bear, this sangria one is bomb too. You know what? You know what Sonic needs to do? They need to get a one day liquor license, right? Sonic, corporate, hear me out. Get a one day liquor license set up like in Vegas or like any other tourist destination where they have the 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 slushy thing going all day. You want an extra shot? It's an extra two dollars. This peach one is probably my favorite. Great color too. Wow. All right guys, these, these are cheap too. I don't know why there's different prices though. Maybe because the peach one doesn't have real peaches uh, chunks in it. But the peach one was 169 and both of the berry sangria and the strawberry froze 229. 
at least in my area. Wow, they need to do Sonic, end of summer bash. You need to do that. Liquor license, welcome to summer. Welcome to the end of summer Sonic block party or luau, something like that. God, I wish I was, guys, I wish I was a, a direct line to some of these guys, but let's shut up. Let's grab something to eat here real quick. Go get those guys. You'll, you'll be pleasantly surprised. I love a good Chicago dog. And then I like to get, because I'm an American and I love America. I always get the America one too. Look at that. You got to get the foot longs from Sonic. Anything else, you guys are just, you're just playing around. All right, so let's do half and half ski here. We'll do the half Americano and then we'll take a little trip to, uh, to Chicago Dale. Hmm. Oh fam, I'm really, I'm this close to doing another virtual collab with another McBank channel. You guys heard that? That has to be my, my smoke alarm that I have in here. Mm. I have officially ordered on Amazon the perforated vinyl. I got white because they don't have gray for some reason. It's either black or white, unless you own a graphics company. But I got some, oh guys, look at this old school winter bagel. I think it's badass. Look at that thing. I don't get so, I get so excited guys when I see RVs or like people live in van life. It's so exciting. It's like, where are you going? Take me with you. Take me with you, please. Um, so I got the vinyl. I might do a separate video. Let me know if you guys are okay with this. I might still do it even if you're not, but I also want to help out uh, other people that are probably looking to convert their car or convert their van or uh, minivan, SUV, whatever it is, whatever is on wheels that can get you around that you want to turn into a camper. I might be doing some small little videos on how to do things. So we're going to learn together, fam. We're going to learn how to put freaking vinyl on here. Do some D DIY. And I can guarantee you that we're gonna mess up together. But, at least we're together. Lupe, you're such a softy. I know. I will say I'm parked at a um, Home Depot parking lot. A lot of traffic here. And I'm parked in front of that section. You guys know what I'm talking about? Where they have all the different like sheds. Then my mind, my mind starts gone. It's like, oh, how cool would it be to get a big, big, big piece of land? and just get one of these like little, these little sheds, put some insulation in there. A little solar on the top. Loop, let's get through uh, van life first, buddy. Mm. And I'm sorry fam, I had a list of questions and I don't have, I have no idea what I did with them. But I will ask you one of them that really resonated in my head, right? Usually we do these live questions, 
but one question, and I can't remember the other two that I wrote down, but one was, oh, I remember another one. So one of the questions was, what is perfectly normal to say nowadays that is not, that would be considered like kind of insane to say 20 years ago? And I remember, oh my God, there's so much room in that one. All right, guys, I think I might be, um, I think I might have just witnessed a crime happening. I think one of these sheds was used as a pick up and drop off. But I'm not going to say definitively. I'm going to, there's scratches on my glasses. I didn't see anything. But anyways, um, one thing that I was thinking about when I saw that, when I was thinking about that question was, um, how crazy would it be to go back 20 years ago and talk about just the technology we have now? Like, hey, I got a drone. Like, what the hell do you mean by a drone, dude? You know, like the kind of military uses. <laughs> How'd you get a military drone? Another thing would be kind of like uh, today's like, hey, I can't hear you that well because uh, the phone on my watch wasn't working very well. What? What? Or when you talk about like space, like uh, like memory space, like, hey, um, I got one terabyte... <laughs> Like one terabyte at the back back in time, guys, seemed like one terabyte just seemed like it was like alien, alien technology. So it was just really bizarre. I, I, I really enjoyed that question when I saw it. But the second, the last question that we'll talk about too, guys, get the Chicago Doug. When you go to Sonic, just get the Chicago Doug. Uh, one question that, um, th this is, uh, this will be the last question. For those of you that have been cheated on, right? I think that's a lot of people, unfortunately. For those of you that have been cheated on and you and you gave the person a chance, how did it turn out? So, in my young and dumb uh, phase in my life, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna try to be very generic here. I was dating a uh, a girl wasn't long uh complete smoke show guys i don't know what it is about me i've always been a big guy but for some for some odd reason i attract very attractive women uh so i don't know so complete smoke show and uh and funny enough very nice girl so this like surprised me so this is how small rhode island is Hold on. Do I want to get that specific? Yeah, forget it. All right. Um, we'll see in this girl. Went to the movies, went out to eat, went out to, you know, party when you're younger. You had you just have the energy to dance for three hours for no reason. And um, I went, I was at my buddy's house and I was kind of like, I was young, right? I was like, I was a little smitten. And I was like kind of bragging about her. I was like, oh, you know, I was, I'm was i I've been dating this girl for, for a bit and, um, you know, started kind of just, you know, and then finally got to her name and I'm at my friend's neighbor's place and he goes, wait, what? Who? And I go, yeah, so-and-so. His friend who was a police officer Oh, hold on. Let me back it up. <laughs> I'm at my friend's house. His neighbor is over at the friend's house with me. We're like drinking beers. He goes, yo, you got to come with me, right? So I get up and I go to his apartment, which was down the hall. And his other friend there, his other friend was a police officer. Uh, and he goes, tell, tell him what you just told me. And I'm like, ah, oh, come on. I was like, I don't want to talk about my feelings with another guy. I already told you guys my... So he's like, no, no, the girl. So I explained the girl. And 
she was seeing him too. So I was like, what the heck is going on here? So we're like comparing photos, like, yeah, that's her, that's her. Oh my God. We're like, what, 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 what? And uh, so I met up with her that night and I go, hey, listen, I, I, I'm, you know, we're all young. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just probably not going to work out. And <clears throat> guys, I don't know if I was just, I had cloudy smitten eyes where uh, she just put on this performance that I swear to God and use the perfect words. And you know how someone can say something to you? You're like, yeah, but they put it in a perfect sequence of, of words, right? This was the best performance I have ever seen in my life. And this might be why I have some trust. So I have trust issues nowadays, but uh, I really don't. Maybe a little bit. And uh, man, I was like, okay. And I said, I was like, okay. Excuse me. I was like, okay. Um, all right. This, by the way, this is the first time this has ever happened to me. So uh, I'm trying to remember what I was thinking at the time. I, I I have a I, I have a, a fight or flight now when it comes to things like this. I go, oh no, out of here. Um, I was it, it must have been she must have said something perfectly because I was like, okay, yeah, I believe you. And then we started, and then we started uh, continue dating. And then I started seeing patterns, and I was like, a. And then I finally I met up with that uh, with that police officer right. Um, I, I saw him out like on duty one day and we just started chatting and he was like giving me more information that he didn't tell me that initial and I was giving him more information and I was like, oh my God, this is, uh, this is way worse than I thought. So long story short, that's my very first story of me giving a cheater a chance and unfortunately, 99% of the time, once a cheater, always a cheater. Is there, is there that one percent that they needed that correction and it's that fairy tale ending? Absolutely, because nothing is definitive in this world, right? There's always variable. Um, that's why you know Clorox kills ninety nine point nine percent of bacteria. So was that point zero one. Um, so that's my story. I would love to hear your guys' story, but it's it is getting late. I am in a town that I don't know anybody in. I just saw something definitely go down in this in this shed over here. Guy looked at my license plate. So if anything happens to me, guys, it's because of something that popped off right here. But love you guys so much. Make sure you get these uh, these uncorked things are phenomenal. Absolutely amazing. Oh my god, someone is driving up the this this is a very busy shed. I'm getting the heck out of Swansea. I thought Swansea was a nice area. I'm out of here guys. I love you so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Be well, eat well. And take care of each other. Ciao.